What's up, coders, and welcome to episode three of our slide service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video, we're going to be talking about page elements. So a page element is basically anything that goes on a slide. This is the data or the content that you put on a slide. And I've included this diagram right here just to show you that there are multiple kinds of page elements. So Google Slides has categorized all their page elements into eight distinct categories. And we're going to be looking closely into each of these categories in later episodes. But I just wanted to give this video to you right now, or this diagram to you right now, so that you can have a broad level overview. So there are things called groups, there are things called images, there are things called lines, there are shapes, which are also known as text boxes, and there are sheets, charts, there are tables, there are videos, and there are word arts. So all the data, all the page elements has to fall within one of these groups, but page element is a broader definition of the content that goes on a slide. All right, so the top three methods that I have for today are get page elements, get page element by ID, and insert page element. So let's jump into the code and see these methods in action. Now that we know how to get a presentation and access the slides off of that, we can start now interacting with the data and the content that is on a specific slide. So we have our presentation, which is the same presentation that we have been working with this entire playlist. My first presentation, and we also are getting a slide from that presentation, and let me show you which slide that is. It's right here. So this is the exact same slide that was on our slide show just a few seconds ago. And again, here is the slide. You can verify that that is indeed what we are getting. So let's start accessing some of the content from that slide. So again, we have all of the page elements that are identified and described by Google Slides. So let's get all of them right here. So if we say slide, that the first method that we're going to look at is get page elements. So it's right here. So it's going to return an array of page elements. And if we just now log or log that just to see that it is working, we hit semicolon, we hit save or run. We'll view the logs. And we'll wait for the logs. There should be eight page elements though. And here we go, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they're all marked as a page element, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. Well, let me just, before we move on, let me actually just showcase though the, 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 um, the type of page element on for each of these, right? So let me just map each one of these page elements in the array, we'll say element, and we'll say element dot get page element type. And this is a method from a page element. And just to show you that all of these do have a type and they are all different, I'm going to show the logs. In fact, did I run it? Let me just see. Let me run it again. I'll hit logs. And here we go. So you can see now each of these has their own type. So they are all considered page elements, but they have a deeper meaning to each of them. One is a sheets chart, one is a group, image, line, shape, table, video, word art. So all of these are of different types and we're going to get into each of those different types in upcoming videos. But for now, just know that each of them is considered a, uh, a page element, but they all have their own specific type. Great, so let's now comment that out and let's move on to the next method. So the next method is get page element by ID. So if we say get, if we say get page element, there's one right here, get page element by ID. And it takes in the string ID. So when we opened a presentation, there was a ID for that. When they opened a slide, there was an ID for that. Let's see if we can find the ID of a page element. So again, it was very easy with the slide in the presentation. You just look right up into the URL and you would find uh, these two IDs. But if you click on a page element, nothing appears in the URL and you can't really right click and there's nothing that says ID right here. So the only way that I know how to manually get an ID of a, 
of a page element is to open your Chrome developer, developer tools, which you do by hitting or holding down the function key and pressing F12. So this is a uh, product, I suppose, of Google, and I think a lot of other browsers have this. And don't worry too much about what I'm doing right here. If we ever do make a course on web development, we will definitely cover this. But this is basically just getting the um, getting the the HTML and all of the web stuff that goes along with rendering this page. So what we need to do is we need to click on this little button right here and we can inspect a certain element. So let's just say this one right here, the image. All right, and then we need to go up to the furthest or the highest up G tag right here. And we can see now this is our ID. It says editor, right? And then it gives us something that starts with G and goes all the way to 32. And this is our ID. So if we... If we just copy this, and now we can paste it in the ID. Again, this is a manual way of doing it. You can also do it programmatically. But if we now say logger.log, and just to be sure that we're getting that that uh, that page element, let's let's get page element type, just like how we did it before. And if it returns an image, then we are doing it correctly. So we'll run it, we view the logs, since it didn't error out, I am sure that we did get the right one. So we'll wait for the logs, and here we go, we got the image. So again, that is one way of doing it, just going into your Chrome developer tools, and then searching for that image and getting the ID, and that again is the manual way of doing it. The other way to do it is programmatically. So if you, let me uncomment this. If you say get page elements, and then you just say one of them, you can also say get object ID. And this get object ID will also return the ID of that page element, which you can later put in this, uh, this parameter spot right here. So that is get page elements and get page elements by ID. Now let's talk about uh, inserting a page element. So let's actually store this in a constant. We'll say constant, and then we'll say page element equals that. And now if we say slide.insert page element, it takes a page element, right? But we have that right here. So if we say that, and then it's conveniently named already page element, so if we, let me just comment this out. If we hit save and we hit run, this is now going to insert a page element on that slide. And right now you can't see it, right? But it actually just inserts it, it overlaps the original page element. So if we take this and we slide it over, you can see that this was just inserted on top of the original page element. And that's where it was. So that is how to get and insert page elements. I hope you like this and learned something. Don't worry too much about that Chrome developer tool part. Again, by hitting F uh, function key and F12. This is a little bit more advanced and this has more to do with web development uh, than it does uh, app script. So anyways, guys, I hope you learned something. And uh, if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you in the next video.